What if I told you that the most promising technology we have to address climate change is growing on 3.6 billion acres across planet Earth? The ability of agricultural soils to pull carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and hold it in the soil is literally the most optimistic thing I know about with regard to climate change. Today's agricultural soils contain about 1% carbon. Prior to cultivation, those soils contained about 3% carbon. If we could take every cultivated acre on Earth, which is about 3.5 billion acres, and get them back from 1% to 3%, that would represent sequestering about 1 trillion tons of carbon dioxide pulled out of the atmosphere by plants and put back into the soil. Prior to the Industrial Revolution, the Earth's atmosphere had about 280 parts per million. The most recent reading on the current concentration in the atmosphere is about 415 parts per million. If you take that difference and multiply times the Earth's atmosphere, that means there's about one trillion tons of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere today that wasn't in the atmosphere prior to humans starting to burn coal and oil. One trillion tons carbon dioxide. It represents both the scale of the problem and the scale of the potential solution. The Terraton Initiative seeks to remove a trillion tons or a teraton of carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and into agricultural soils. So how do agricultural soils actually capture carbon dioxide gas from the atmosphere and store it in the soil? The answer as you probably remember from eighth grade, is photosynthesis. They attract carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere, use sunlight combined with chlorophyll, and turn that into sugars. And many of those sugars then go through the roots and into the soil, where they feed other living things in the soil. And over time, those living things continue to increase, and we increase the carbon concentration in the soil. We know that we can do this because there are farmers who are doing it today. It includes using no-till practices, using cover crops, more crop rotation. But we believe that at a cost of about $15 to $20 a ton, we would provide significant incentives for farmers to change practices and begin to sequester carbon, and that would represent a much lower cost than the alternatives. There are many solutions we should be pursuing to reduce the effect of climate change and reverse it. But sequestering atmospheric carbon in agricultural soils represents the only solution I know of that is scalable, economical, and immediate. So what will it take to make this happen? It includes farmers being willing to experiment with new ways of growing, businesses and all of us as consumers being willing to pay for it, and in fact demanding that our food and products are produced this way. And it requires that innovators come up with new ways of sampling soil, measuring carbon, coming out with products that replace a lot of the chemicals and fertilizers that are used today. Success in the Terraton Initiative will require collaboration from within the agricultural industry and from outside of the industry, but it's completely within our hands. We're not waiting for a new technical breakthrough. We don't need advances that aren't here today. We just have to decide collectively that we're gonna make it happen.